am Jasmine Spock. Uh, I live on the Gold Coast in Australia and I'm studying next year in March um, at the University of Queensland. I chose uh, La Serena in Chile because I was interested in the program. I wanted to work with kids and I also researched that there was a lot to do in the surrounding areas of La Serena in the Elkie Valley and whatnot and um, because I was here for an extended period of time uh, I thought it would give me a lot to do. The most surprising thing I experienced in the program um, with my host family was that I felt completely at home. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the accommodation was really nice and the food was even better than home. I was expecting to sort of, um, you know, in a new country, not feel as comfortable. Um, the most difficult thing I experienced um, with all the program, the host family, and the country was the language barrier. Um, my Spanish is pretty basic, um, and I learned online the European Spanish. And so, because I was um, at uh, my program by myself, I found it really isolating at times because I couldn't speak to the other workers and even like with my host family I felt like I couldn't express how grateful I was for some things because my Spanish was just too bad. <laughs> um, so my tips for future volunteers would be to learn as much Spanish as you possibly can before you come. It'll just make everything easier really and um, yeah. <laughs> uh, with sightseeing I would just suggest to check the uh, costs of things multiple times because there can be like um, confusion with the language barrier and also just like with pesos and dollars and whatnot. Um, the other volunteers that I was um, in my accommodation with at the beginning went in a tour and it ended up being like $20 more. And then the same with the, um, we went to a hostel one weekend and it ended up being in pesos or dollars so it was like double the price that we were expecting. Um, <coughs> excuse me. The other thing, well, things volunteers should know about um, with weather is that it's very cold in the morning um, and in the afternoon in winter, and it's cloudy all the time, which can get a little bit tiring. But um, during the day, it can be more moderate, so you do have to like bring a lot of clothes everywhere, like coats and whatever. And wear a lot of clothes at night time. <laughs> um, I would describe my accommodation, as I said earlier, as very comfortable and um, had a lot of privacy and space, which I really liked. Again, because I was here for four weeks, so I really settled in. Uh, the meals were amazing. Um, my host mom was a really good cook. My favorite meals were empanadas and like lots of rice with. Um, vegetables on different ways it was amazing <laughs> and the desserts were really good as well. Um, my favorite <coughs> excuse me <coughs> my favorite memory of the trip um, with the program was my last day when the kids were all saying goodbye and we were getting photos and they all um, were like hugging me and getting a bit upset that I was leaving and they gave me um, this like had a pillow with each of their names, which was really cute, and they were all looking up and telling me which one was theirs, even though I knew all of their names. <laughs> it was really cute. The local ABB coordinator, the staff, and the support provided was, um, in my opinion, very good. I was picked up from my hostel when I arrived in La Serena very promptly, like exactly in the minute. <laughs> That we were supposed to be picked up, which meant that I wasn't as stressed. Um, the orientation day was very organized but still relaxed, which again made me excited to start the program and less um, anxious because I felt like I had a lot of people around to support me. And the daily support was really good because um, if I had any questions that I couldn't ask my host mom, then I could just email ABV and they replied really promptly. Uh, the information I received, um, I don't think I have the page. 
and I am willing to speak to other potential ABV volunteers about my volunteer experience, definitely.